Two questions. Do silicon diodes work in crystal sets? Keep watching to learn the answers to these and more questions you may have on crystal sets. The crystal set I'm using here is a Dick Smith Funray Volume 1 type that I described in detail in a previous video. Right now I've got the crystal set connected to an outside antenna and an earth. This is what it sounds like. In your own name and, and various other things, that's likely to be tax deductible. Because they're income bearing. Um, yeah, that's right. So there's this connection between the expense related to taxable income. And usually we will say... You can hear that the stations are jumbled together. If I reduce the coupling to the antenna, then the stations can be separated, as I described in the earlier video. The crystal set with the germanium diode comfortably drives this crystal earpiece with no audio amplification stages required. But just for this video, to make it easier for you to hear it, I plugged the crystal set into the audio input of this digital camera. And as you heard, the audio levels were quite high. The diode being used for this was the 1 in 60 germanium diode. Because it was supplied with the Funray 1 kit, the first substitute diode I'll try is a power diode. This one is a 1 in 4004. First off, we kick things off. Nigel Wood is truffle farmer and founder of the Melbourne Truffle Festival. He joins you country to a settler Australian. How lovely to speak with you at this festival. Well, what you just heard was that the silicon diode did work. The audio was a bit distorted. The weaker signals were certainly not audible on the silicon diode. So it's definitely inferior to the germanium diode, but it did work, especially if you're in a location where signals are fairly strong. The stations that you heard on here were between about 15 and 50 kilometers distant. Some are quite high power, up to about 50 kilowatts. One possibility with the silicon diode, which I haven't tried in this circuit, could be to put some DC bias. Of course, that defeats the big selling point of the crystal set. That is a free radio with no batteries. Next thing is to replace the silicon diode with an LED. Will that work as a detector too? As you just heard, it did, although the audio was very distorted. Now with the lights off, some curtains drawn, and look at the LED. It's probably only about 1 or 2% brightness, but it is plainly being lit by the energy of the incoming stations. I'll just adjust the tuning control. And I'm just between stations here, so nothing on the LED. And now on another station.
The LED only works when the earphone is in the circuit and drawing current. Without the earphone, there's just the 47K resistor, which doesn't draw enough to light the LED. And I'll just short the earphone. Doesn't seem to make uh, much difference to the LED's brightness with the earphone shorted. I'll now just plug in the video camera. monoculture suddenly of no, albeit so something nice. Diversity. We learnt a couple of things today. Silicon diodes do work in crystal sets. However, the audio may be distorted and in low signal areas you might not hear much at all. Definitely get a germanium diode if you can. Secondly, in moderate to strong signal areas, signal levels are enough to light an LED, but only in a darkened room. And thirdly, the audio output I was getting was in the order of 100 millivolts on strong stations.